Hi children, now we are seeing the topic life cycle of butterfly, okay, life cycle of butterfly, okay, in your chapter 3, okay, in your chapter 3, in your chapter 3, reproduction in animals, okay. Now, we will see how a butterfly, what is the life cycle of butterfly, okay. You know that butterfly lays its eggs underneath the surface of leaves. So, where the butterfly lays its eggs? Underneath, okay. The lower side, no, of the leaf. See, this is the leaf means underneath, under the lower side of the leaf, okay. These eggs hatch into larvae, okay. These eggs hatch into larvae. A larva looks like a worm, okay. It looks like a worm. It feeds on leaves for many days. It will eat that what leaves and becomes bigger in size, okay. It then stops eating and grows, grows a shell like cover called cocoon, okay. It stops eat, eating and grows a shell like cover like cocoon around it. This stage is called pupa, okay. This stage is called what? Pupa, okay. After few days of resting in this stage, the pupa bursts open and the adult insect emerges out, okay. See here this pupa, caterpillar, that is the what? Adult insect, adult insect, okay, emerges out. The larvae of different insects have different names. Okay, what is the larvae of different insects? Butterfly. What is the larva of different? See, look here. The butterfly means the larva name is caterpillar. Look here. This is the what? Larvae of butterfly, caterpillar, housefly, maggot. Okay, mosquito, wriggler. Okay, mosquito, wriggler. Okay. In this way, this is the life cycle of a butterfly. Okay. So, it, the butterfly lays its egg underneath the leaves and that uh, from the, uh, the eggs hatches into larvae, that larvae eats the leaves and water, okay. And after it stops eating and grows a shell, it likes what it cover called cocoon, okay. Uh, from the cocoon water, the pupa will come out, okay. After a few days of resting in this stage, the pupa bursts open into adult insect okay this what the larvae of different insects are called butterfly means caterpillar housefly maggot mosquito wriggler okay so this is about reproduction by giving what reproduction by laying eggs now we are going to see the next reproduction that is nothing but reproduction by giving birth to young ones giving birth to young ones. Look here, a mother gives birth to a small baby, no. Look here, the lion gives birth to cub, okay. So, you must have seen a dog surrounded by pups. See, you may see, you know, dog surrounded by its babies, puppies or a calf, calf following a cow, okay, small baby of a cow, that is calf following a cow. Okay, so some animals like dogs, cats, lion, cows, elephants, zebras give birth to young ones and also feed them with their milk. Okay, and also feed them with their milk. Such animals are called what? Mammals. What? Mammals. Okay, so the animals give birth and feed them with give birth to young ones and feed them with their milk are called mammals. The embryo is formed in the body of the female animal. It stays there for some weeks and gradually develops all the organs. The newborn babies are tiny, weak and delicate. Okay? The mothers feed them with, with their milk and protect them till they learn to look after themselves. Look okay? here, the baby, the baby, young ones, very tiny, very small and very weak. Okay, so the mother will take care of that babies, okay, they will feed them with their milk and they look after them, okay. And look here, bats can fly and they look like birds, but they actually are mammals, even bats are also mammals, what? Bats are also mammals, okay. Dolphins and whales are also mammals, dolphins are all, and whales also mammals, they give birth to 
young ones and they feed their babies with their milk ok. The, so, dolphins and whales are mammals that live in water. What all the mammals live in water? What dolphin? Whales. Of all the animals, mammals and birds are the most caring parents ok. So, of all the animals, these mammals and birds ok are the most caring parents. They will take care of the babies ok, they will feed them ok. So, mammals and birds are the water most caring parents understood children. This is about reproduction by giving birth to young ones. What giving birth to young ones ok, 